Hi guys, it's Mamaw Yates. I just wanted to take a second to show you this new ultimate guide for EdTPA tasks 1, 2, and 3. I've uploaded this to Teacher Pay Teacher and um, I think it could be very beneficial. So it starts out with, um, of course, just a reminder that um, your official documents from EdTPA are always more important than any kind of supplemental material that you get from me or anybody else. You should always refer to your own handbook. This is to be used as a way to kind of bring things together and to put it in um, a way that makes uh, some sense to you. So I start out with a description on how to get started and there's a video link there. It's one of my videos. There's that one's got an ad. Um, and uh, then you just go to uh, your next part, which is um, another one that is another video for you to share with your cooperating teacher. It's kind of a long video, but it's, it's a pretty good one. Um, I do suggest that you uh, get a sample um, here early on. However, uh, I don't sell any samples. I do include in this um, guide a, a bunch of little little samples, like I have a, a sample prompt. Um, here uh, it shows you how to get access to EdTPA materials if you don't have access already. Um, and some of you are unaffiliated with the university. Getting organized. Uh, I've got some other suggestions. Uh, tell you what you need to read and making good choices. And then um, I take you through the context for learning. As you can see, the document's got a lot of links. Each of these links takes you to information on making permission slips, um, just all kinds of things that, that, you'll, that you'll find uh, interesting and useful. So here's a, a sample, for example, of... Um, Oh, that's funny. A sample, for example. <laughs> it's a sample uh, release document. This is actually one that's on EdTPA. Uh, how to select a, a central focus, um, you know, your subject-specific emphasis. Uh, I take you through planning your learning segment, um, just through the whole thing, reviewing your evidence chart. Then beginning with writing your planning commentary, uh, all the way through, I, I talked to you about the types of things you need here uh, that needs to be included in your lesson so that you can do well on task two. So there's always a planning ahead segment on this. Um, for each of the prompts, I've got the prompt number, the rubric it's associated with, the suggested page count as far as I think you should do, uh, a tutorial, a video tutorial or two, and then lots of links on different tutorials. Here's a sample. Um, so you can click on the sample. Let's see. There we go. So here's a sample. These are all, of course, just view only, but um, it gives you just what does this look like when you write it? How should how should it look? when you finish. So just all the way through you'll find with each of the commentary prompts that I have um, both you know some suggestions about what to think about, some video tutorials, maybe some information on reminders. Um, I've got uh, samples, I've got checks that you use, and here at the end of each uh, commentary, I've got something called Check Your Work that takes you through each one. And I've done this for each of the tasks. I get you ready for the task, I take you through the task, then I take you through the commentary, um, how to check your files, how to review your work. They're just not going to have anybody fail the EdTPA anymore. Everybody's going to make a 45 and up. And you've got task three. 
so same thing here I've got a lot of videos for task 3 because there's just so many questions about task 3 of choosing assessment and your evaluation criteria so anyway I hope you enjoy this document I hope you order it um, and use it and if you like it I hope you uh, leave a good review to let other people know that it's helped you out you have a great day and let me know if you've got any questions